Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how you can add a cartoon effect to images, as well as some other types of effects. Let's go ahead and show you the effects. In this example, we have a black and white cartoon effect. And here we have a filled cartoon effect using the blues color map. Here we have another filled cartoon effect using the inferno color map. Here we have a blurred image effect. In this example, we have an effect similar to a pencil sketch. For this example, we have an oil painting effect. Here we have the normal image, and here we have that same image with the oil painting effect. And for our last example, we have a watercolor effect. Here's the normal image, and here is the watercolor effect. So let's go over the code. For the imports, we import SK image. To load in our images, we're going to use IM read. Also using SK image, we're going to load in a coffee image and a camera image. And we're going to pull in some SK image filters, including the Gaussian and the Roberts. Other imports include matplotlib, numpy, and CV2. To load our image, we use imread, and then we put in the path with the file name and the extension. To display the image, we use plt.imshow. We put in the image, and we set our color map to gray. So this is the image we start with. To create the image with the cartoon effect, we use plt.figure, and then we set our figure size. Then we use plt.contour, and then we put in our image. And we put that inside the NumPy, flip UD, to help turn the image right side up. For the color, we use black. And then we set our levels. And the levels help determine the number and positions of the contour lines. To get rid of the numbers on the X and Y axis, we use plt.axis off. Here we have another example that's very similar. However, instead of contour, we use contour F for filled. And for the color map, we use blues. If you would like to save an image, you can use plt.savefig and put in the path, give it a name, and an extension. Here we have another example. Using imread, we read in the image. And we set as gray to true. We create our figure. We use plt.contourf. We put in the image, we set our levels, and we set our color map to Inferno. And here we have our new image. For our next example, to create a blur effect, we're going to use the coffee image that we pulled in here. Here we have the original image, and to blur the image we use Gaussian that we imported here. We put in the image, we set the sigma and multi-channel to true. And here we have our blurred image. For the pencil sketch effect, we're going to use the camera image. And to create this effect, we use Roberts that we pulled in here from the SK image filters. So we create our figure, then we create our edges, and then we use plt.imshow, put in the edges, and for the color map we're going to use greens. Next we have the oil painting effect. First we pull in our flowers image. To create the image with the oil painting effect, we use CV2, the OpenCV package dot x photo dot oil painting then we put in the flowers image and here we have some notes to explain the other arguments we create our figure and then we create two subplots the first subplot will show the normal image here and the second subplot shows the image with the oil painting effect 
Next, let's go over the watercolor effect. We pull in our image. Then we convert the image to a red, green, blue type image. To create the watercolor effect, we use CV2, dot stylization, and then we put in the image. And once again, we have some notes on the other arguments for the sigma s and the sigma r. We create our figure. Here we have subplot 1, and here we have subplot 2. The normal image, and the image with the watercolor effect. And here we have a larger image with the watercolor effect. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.